Civil and mechanical engineering are two majors you may be considering. These two majors are actually nearly identical in the beginning of college, but then in your later years and your career, they can become quite different. First, what do mechanical engineers go into that civil engineers really don't? First is that they focus more on heat transfer and thermodynamics, like with engines for cars, planes, and boats, houses, residential and commercial buildings, or even aircrafts and spacecrafts to maintain proper temperatures, which is part of the HVAC concentration. And this even can apply to heat transfer in our electronics. They deal more with fluid mechanics. Now civil engineers can get into fluid mechanics, but mostly with water for more specific purposes I'll explain later. But mechanical engineers could analyze wind flow over a wind turbine, airflow over a car or airplane, how water moves along ships, designing pumps that move fluids, and more. One concentration they could go into is mechatronics, which is a combination of mechanical engineering, electronics, and even computer engineering. This is where you do more programming of hardware and circuiting. This is a good subfield for those conflicted between mechanical and electrical engineering. This has applications in robotics, sensing and control systems like with self-driving cars, and much more. They could go into manufacturing, which is another concentration that's more about using machines and tools to create products that can range from spacecraft components to car parts. So again, I'll list those topics here, and if any of these are what you want to pursue or have more interest in, then mechanical will probably be better for you. You won't really see civil engineers working on the projects I just showed in these fields. And civil engineers don't really take any of these classes in college as well. Now there's also structural analysis that I didn't include, but since civil engineers can go into this as well, I'm going to discuss them together after this next section. Now with civil engineering, I first recommend you watch my civil engineering video which is linked below where I explained in detail the four main subfields. But for those who need a refresher, the four main subfields are structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, water resources engineering, and transportation engineering. I'm going to leave structural for last, but I will briefly go over the rest again. Geotechnical is all about the behavior of earth materials like soil and rock. These engineers analyze the soil where a structure will be built to ensure it can be supported and that it doesn't sink into the earth, or as I said in the other video, lean to one side. This career could involve doing testing on the soil to test for its strength, or you could go out into the field to collect the soil samples around the area. Water resources engineering is about designing systems for the management of human water resources. These engineers could design storm drains, pipes for water movement and drainage, dams, canals, channels, and other drainage facilities and so on. This is where fluid mechanics comes in for civil engineers. Schools will differ, but I've seen civil and mechanical engineers share one fluids class, while mechanical engineers went on to take more. Civil engineers really only need to know about the mechanics of water applied to these types of systems, as opposed to the mechanical engineer who could also apply airflow to things like wind turbines or airplane wings that you really wouldn't see a civil engineer doing. And last is transportation, which is about designing streets and roads, highways, public transportation systems, and airports. Whereas a structural engineer would design the structure of a bridge and worry more about the physics of it, a transportation engineer would determine how many lanes are needed, the possible curvature of the road, and determining safety such as the speed limit that cars can safely travel at. It's more about ensuring the safe and efficient transportation of people and goods. So I'll put all of those again, and if any of these aspects of civil engineering seem more interesting, then civil will probably be better for you. You could see some overlap with the two majors in these, but mostly these are unique to civil engineers. Now let's talk about structures or structural engineering. Both mechanical engineers and civil engineers can work on structures and is what these majors have the most in common. So if you watched my civil engineering video and are torn between going into structural engineering as a civil engineer or just doing mechanical engineering, then again I'd recommend mechanical engineering also because of the range of opportunities you'll have. But let me explain some of the differences so you can make the decision. As a civil engineer, you could design the structure of a building or skyscraper, a bridge, tunnels, overpasses, and even aircraft and spacecraft structures. So they do have flexibility in what they can work on. The difference about the curriculum is that civil engineers would learn more about concrete and concrete design, steel reinforcement, and even timber design. Mechanical engineers won't really have to deal with all that. It's mostly about static systems for them, as in systems that are not moving. They could deal with some dynamic systems, but mostly they deal with static structures that need to be stable and support their own weight. 
This is the most math intensive concentration for civil engineers and will involve a lot of physics. Now mechanical engineers could also design the structure of a spacecraft or aircraft, they could design the structure of an artificial limb, they could design the frame of a vehicle and optimize its safety in the event of a crash, or they could even analyze the moving components within an engine to make sure it can withstand all the high speeds that occur. A job example could be doing vibration testing on a satellite. For small satellites, they can mount them on a platform that physically shakes the satellites at different frequencies. Then they use accelerometers to look at the response from the vibrations at different parts of the satellite. This basically simulates what it will be like when the rocket is launching, which has the satellite inside of it. This ensures us that the satellite will not fracture during those conditions. As you can see, mechanical engineers deal more with dynamics or systems that are moving. They have to have an understanding of statics as well, but a lot of static structures are left to civil engineers. And to summarize a little of the curriculum, the first half of college is very similar for these two majors. They take the calculus series just like all engineers do. They both take statics and dynamics, which is again about physics of systems that are not moving, which is used more by civil engineers. Then the physics of moving systems, which is more used by mechanical engineers. They both take some mechanics and materials classes where they learn about stress and strain, deflection and how much something may bend based on its properties and the loading on it or the stress throughout a beam that has torsional loading. These classes are very important foundations for both majors, and as you can see, are very math and physics based. So hopefully you want to learn more about them if you're gonna go into these majors. And for civil engineers, these ones listed are most important for the structural students. And also mechanical engineering is much more math and calculus intensive when it comes to college. They go on to take classes like heat transfer, mechanical vibrations, multiple fluid mechanics classes, and all of these involve calculus and differential equations to solve lots of the systems. Not all of their classes will involve this kind of math, but a lot do. And don't get me wrong, civil engineers do use math and calculus in college, especially structural engineers, but mechanical engineers just use more. Now there are some more classes they have in common, but after the first two or maybe two and a half years, civil engineers move on to one of their subfields and take all the elective classes they would need for that given field. The structural classes will be the most math intensive and related to a mechanical student, and the rest will range in how much math there is, but some honestly won't have much. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.